It's time for the Southern Scene, and we've got you covered. We're celebrating art and fashion. That's right. We're on the red carpet with our Southern Scene cameras. We're back at the Telfair Museum's Jetson Center. That's right, for the Art on Tap Zia at the Beach and the works of Martin Parr. So get ready. The Southern Scene starts now. Art, entertainment, food, fashion, and fun. Now, here's Natalie Hendricks with the Southern Scene. Well, hello everybody and welcome to the Southern Scene. I'm WSAV's Natalie Hendricks. Well, we are back on the red carpet, of course, with our Southern Scene cameras. We're at the Telfair Museum's Jepson Center. It's all about fun and the sun for the Art on Tap Zia at the Beach, celebrating also the works of Martin Parr. It is a huge event and a feast for the senses. The Telfair Museum's is celebrating the artwork of Martin Parr, of course, as I said. Parr is known for his gritty photography and the Tell Fair is celebrating the opening of Life's a Beach, photographs by Martin Parr. As we explore this exhibition that celebrates the kickoff to summer, we're also here to see a great fashion show by Zia. It is fabulous. You've seen his jewelry designs on local runways and in his boutique on Broaden Street. And the excitement is building. So what are we waiting for? Art on tap, Zia at the beach. Let's get the party started. We're at the big event, Telfair Museum's Art on Tap, Zia at the Beach. And guess who I caught up with? Molly Taylor, who is the Director of Development. Hi, Molly. How are you? It's so good to see you. So good to see you. Thank what you. What a great event this is. Now, let's talk about Zia at the Beach, but it's not all about Zia. You guys have so much going on here at the Jackson Center. We do. We have a fabulous new photography exhibition with work by Martin Parr, who is a British photographer. And the work is all of people at the beach. So that's what people can come in and they can take a look at all of these coastal pictures and, and folks on the beach, and it's from all over. Absolutely. Japan, um, Great Britain, Mexico, Argentina, Florida. Um, it really travels the globe, and each one has their own quirky details and something fun to find inside it. So we hope people will come out and explore the show and see what else we have going on at the Telfair, to, uh, Telfair Museums this weekend. And of course, Martin Parr from Great Britain, uh, but the fabulous exhibit will be on on hand for how long? About three months. About three months so folks can come in at any time and walk around and see the pictures. Absolutely. So let's talk about the big event Zia at the Beach because visually it is going to be incredible and the excitement is just building. It's amazing. It's a fabulous fashion show. Zia, um, we had spoken to him a year ago and we knew that this show was coming up and we really wanted something complimentary to engage people and get the community to come into the museum for some other reason and then see the art sort of as a result of engaging with this fashion show. Zia has created four different um, themes for his jewelry and they all come from where he, um, from his heritage, it includes Japan, Kenya, um, India, and America. And so you'll see some, some particular themes and they reflect in a way what's going on on these walls. And the models look incredible because, you know, we see the high fashion models in New York and all over. But, you know, when I was walking through and they were going through the dress rehearsal, I mean, I felt like I was in Milan or something, uh, taking a look at all the fabulous jewelry and designs and the, the tall models. It's true. Um, Halo Savannah, Halo Modeling Agency from Savannah has provided these lovely ladies for us and um, they have done a fabulous job. Ashley Borders has done all the styling, um, 40 Volume Salons and Spa has done the 
hair, and you know, it really is an over-the-top weekend. Now I have to ask you, Molly, I'm noticing your fabulous jewelry. Are you wearing Zia? I am wearing Zia. <laughs> he kindly lent it to me for this event, and um, it's beautiful. Well, we have... you, you're definitely wearing it proudly, and it's absolutely exquisite on you. You know, you guys should be very happy, because Telfair Museums, you're the director of development. You guys are always coming up with fabulous things, not only for the locals, but for tourists. It's incredible what you guys do here. We do try. That, you know, you really have to have other reasons to get into a museum. If you've never been to a museum before, you're not sure that it's for you. And so we need things like fashion shows and Christmas tree extravaganzas and, you know, other reasons to get people in. Free Family Day, which is coming up in a couple weeks. Um, we have a lot going on for every type of person, and we want you to feel comfortable, come in, see the art, and know that this is your museum. This is for our community. You know, that's what I always say. We have a large art community here, but you don't have to be an art enthusiast to come and enjoy Telford Museums and what you guys have to offer because you hit the nail on the head. You really do have something for everybody here and the educational programs are incredible. Absolutely. We bring every fourth grade child in Ch Savannah Chatham County through our museums in the fall and um, you know we have something for everything. There's everyone. There's a pre-kindergarten and kindergarten um, art museum space that we have and we have our teen council actually is hosting a huge event tomorrow night for teens only. So there's something going on for everyone. Molly, what do you think about our art community here and how it's just growing and blossoming? I mean, of course, we have Savannah College of Art and Design, some incredible artists coming out of that school, and, and we have local artists already here that have been living here forever. I mean, really, the art community here is just growing beyond bounds. It's true, and Telfair has been a part of that um, throughout, you know, the last 125 years, 100, almost 130 years, and we really want to be a strong focal point of that arts community. We're having our 10th anniversary of the Jepson Center coming up in 2016, and we intend to do certain things to engage the local community, the local artist community, um, and so, you know, we're going to keep doing it, and we're proud of what we're doing. What are you most looking forward to about uh, this big event that we have going on, Zia's uh, at the Zia at the Beach? I just love the fashion show. It is so <laughs> incredible, and those women are gorgeous. The jewelry is amazing. And Zia is truly a talented and creative individual, and we are so thrilled to be partnering with him. Oh, what a great event! It is going to be an amazing, an amazing event. Don't go away. When we come back, we celebrate another great artist whose works can be seen right here at the Telfair Museum's Jepson Center. When we come back, she'll share with us what inspires her. We'll have that more when we come back. Stay with us. Welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAB and My LC. Of course, we are still on the red carpet at the big event where the Telfair Museum's Art on Tap, Zia at the Beach, and of course, the event's man of the hour, Zia. Now, his beautiful designs can be seen on the beautiful models at this huge event taking place here at Telfair Museum's Art on Tap at the Jepson Center. You know, it wasn't long ago that we highlighted another artist here at the Jepson Center and for rare and her displays can still be seen and believe me they are like no other and they are prominent well she talked with us about what inspires her and of course this is where it's happening and I've caught up with the woman of the night and for rare we're so happy to have her in Savannah and let me tell you her artwork as the backdrop is phenomenal and thank you so much for joining us it's great to see you Great to see you too, and I'm very happy to have been invited here. Uh, the space is fabulous, Savannah is fabulous, it's summertime here, it's freezing in Paris, so I'm really happy to be here. Let's talk about your artwork. How did you get the idea? I mean, what is your inspiration when it comes to these wonderful, huge things that you do that are so bright and colorful? The inspiration is, comes mostly from the animal world, uh, the flowers also. So something very naive, very innocent, but I like to mix something very pretty with something almost grotesque and fun. Oh, I love that. You know, we're all familiar with the old saying, less is more, but you really believe in more. 
more is more. You like going big and better. And let me tell you, that is music to my ears. I absolutely <laughs> love it. The bigger, the better. Why is that where you're concerned? Well, it's uh, actually, I, I don't want to make something too discreet. I came with that piece in my suitcase. And the piece, uh, we inflated it in the space. We hung it. And I wanted, I, I like a lot of discretion. So the piece is very tiny and suddenly it becomes big. It's like a French souffle that inflates in front of you. I absolutely love it. And what does it feel like to absolutely touch it? Because you can actually, I mean, all of your artwork is always elevated, so you can't really touch it. Yes, it makes you want to touch it, but it's too high. It's about desire. <laughs> when you desire something and you can't have it, it tastes even better. That makes it bigger, it makes it better, and you just want more of it. Yes. <laughs> What do you think of Savannah? And you've been here now, I think, for a day or two. What do you think for Savannah? And uh, and what would you like to say to all of our art enthusiasts out there to come on down and take a look at your wonderful artwork? I love you, Savannah. You should all come over here. It's great. And I think it's a, a wonderful city. It's summertime. And maybe it's like that all year long. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know what? It's my favorite place in the entire world. It, it, this is really the place that everybody comes and everybody enjoys. We're so glad to have you here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Oh, Anne Ferrer, her artwork is incredible. You know, so many things inspire artists these days and designers, and a lot of it has to do with technology. And you can really see it in the fashion world these days. I mean, I'm talking about handbags that display tweets to bracelets that even charge your phone. When you think about it, you won't believe the wearable tech that's actually out there right now. Fashion Week is no longer just about the fashion. Can you make the bag say hello to me? My name's oh, yes. Allison. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you think you took your loves, Allison. <laughs> the idea? Take wearable technology from geek to chic. We have an app on the phone that's currently connected with this, and uh, you can choose any pattern you want. This is the notification bracelet, so you can set it that certain contacts, it'll uh, vibrate a little bit when it's on your wrist if certain people are calling, so you know if it's your mom or your husband or the babysitter. And this one is the charger. There is a USB uh, connector right here, which you could do your charging. We designed it to be a communication accessory. So in other words, your emails, SMSs, and your social feeds. Two miles from the runway, other designers are showing off what they've got. Bags, bracelets, even connected rings. Actually customize which notifications you want to come through. Um, if you want you know, Facebook on there or Uber, you can, you can turn those off or on, and then if you have the ring. So if I only want my boss to contact me when I'm out for a drink in the middle of the workday, I can just do that exactly right now. Great. Oh, it's vibrating. 19 million wearable tech pieces will be shipped this year. In four years, that's expected to surge to nearly 112 million and become a $20 billion industry. Our customer seamlessly transitions between fashion and technology. One minute. We just started dreaming of things that we thought that she would need, right, and incorporate in her life. Some of the things we found always is they're always running out of charge. And so that kind of was like, hey, could we, could we incorporate that into a bracelet? Okay, we're ready. Let's go. But some say this market is young. I would say it's version 1.0 in terms of the development of design, but it's a massive step forward compared to the very clunky technological uh, developments we've had from the, from the past. But does it still have a ways to go? I believe so, personally. Why? They're still, um, how do I put this politely, you can still very much see that they're a, a piece of technology. Another hurdle, will people wear it? This is a solar-powered dress that will actually charge your phone. I would stand out in it. And get the right shoes to go with it, and I'd just be ready to go. Would you wear it? No. Why wouldn't you wear it? It would charge your phone. So will my charger. <laughs>
Wow, wearable technology. What will they think of next? Who knows, maybe we'll see that as part of Zia's designs and one of his upcoming fashion shows. Okay, don't go away. When we come back, more sights and sounds from the Telfair Museum's Jepson Center. Art on tap, Zia at the beach. You know, you never know what you're going to see here at Telfair Museums at their sponsored events, but rest assured, it will always be a showstopper. We'll have that and more when we come back. Don't go away. And welcome back to the Southern Scene on WSAV and MyLC. Well, we are where it is happening. We have our Southern Scene cameras still on the red carpet at the Telfair Museum's Jetson Center. Art on tap, Zia at the beach. Let's take another look. And of course, we are on the red carpet for the Telfair Museum's Art on Tap Zia at the Beach. And it is the event of the day, the event of the night, and everybody's been gearing up for this. Guess who I caught up with on the red carpet? One of our favorite folks on the southern scene, Dr. Karen Cooper. Hi, Dr. Cooper. Hi, Hi Nelly. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Well, I have to say, you look fabulous. And look, we think oh, alike. <laughs> so now, let's talk about you being here tonight at the Telfair Museum's Jepson Center, Zia at the Beach. Now, what brings you out to this fabulous event? Well, I always enjoy fashion, and with Zia, I just love the um, jewelry that they, they purchase for each one of us, so I, I like it. So that's what you're most looking forward to. But you like getting out and about on the town and, 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 and really seeing and experiencing Savannah. You love this community. I actually do. Um, yesterday I was here for um, the Taste of Downtown. So I'm here in the community quite a bit. Now, of course, we see her all the time on the Southern Scene. She keeps our teeth healthy and looking good. Definitely me and my daughter and a lot of us on the Southern Scene. And you know what? You're always busy in the dental world. I am. Um, I just came back from San Francisco doing some um, continuing ed as well. And the week before I was in Kentucky. So, <laughs> yes, I am constantly learning. It's constantly changing. And we always want to be the best. And we are here with our Southern Scene cameras at the Telfair Museum's Art on Tap, Zia at the Beach on the red carpet. And this guy normally is always working the events. Well, we pulled him on the red carpet. Paul Camp, fabulous pictures that we absolutely love. Now, what brings you out to tonight's event? Oh, the pretty girls, of course. <laughs> the pretty girls. But you know what? You take fabulous photos, Paul. And you, I mean, the way that you really record and, and really capture the photographs all over at events, the community of Savannah, you really have a skill with this. I just like doing fast moving events and these are the kind of things that I, I try to excel at. You know, what do you think about Savannah? Because now you've been here for a long time. Mm -hmm. What do you think about Savannah and how we're seeing the fashion world really expand, the art world really expand in our area? I mean, you know, New York is what it is. The West Coast is what it is. I mean, Milan is what it is. But Savannah really is making a mark when we are talking about art and fashion and that kind of thing. I think I would attribute most of it to SCAD. I mean, they, they've turned the city around and they brought a lot of uh, outside influences to Savannah and it's paying off. <laughs> well, I'm going to have to let you, you know what, give me some lessons on the camera because you've got to pass on your skills. I'll pass on my skills with the microphone, you pass on your skills with the camera for me. It's a deal. Let me tell you, it is a fabulous event, and 
the jewelry designs, oh, the modeling, the runway fashions, amazing. Well, here he is, the man of the evening, Zia. Zia, thanks so much for joining us. Now, Thank this you. is a great event for you. I'm buzzing. This is so exciting for me, and I'm just so grateful to have this opportunity. You know, what is your inspiration where the jewelry designs are concerned and that kind of thing? Because yeah. it's just incredible. Thank you so much. It's uh, actually, my father is Indian, my mother is Japanese American, but I'm born and raised in Kenya and Kansas, so I have a lot to pull from, from two different cultures to inspire my jewelry. Now, of course, you're located on Broughton Street. We yeah. can see your fabulous designs. What would you say about this community and how it's really embracing designs and fashion and art. It's been incredible. The reception that I've received, because my jewelry is not mainstream, it's not run-of-the-mill, you know? And the, the, you can tell that Savannah has a discerning clientele that is open to different things and they're, they're fashion forward and it daring. You know what I loved is when you walked out, you talked about and thanking so many wonderful people, yes. not just your friends. No. You talked about your family. You talked about your colleagues. You talked about your peers. How important is that support where you're concerned? This was a massive undertaking, this project, and I could not have done it without this amazing team of people. And then also it comes down to just a really good support system of my friends and my family and amazing clientele that are here to support me tonight, paying money to be here with me. It's amazing. Well, here's the thing. Did you you expect this? I, I have, I honestly, I'm in a daze right now. I have no idea what's going on because it's just been so overwhelming. I cannot believe the response. It's been tremendous. Well, you know, I have to tell you, I have a favorite piece on one of the models yeah. that walked out. It was a very dainty chain, and you're gonna have to you save that one for me. You got it. You got okay, it. It's I'm yours. coming to see you on Broughton. Perfect. Thank thanks you. Thanks so much, Zia. It was fabulous, and thanks for joining us on the Thank Southern you. Scene. Thank you. Thank you to the viewers. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for us. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's show. Now, remember, you can see the Southern Scene twice now. That's right, weekdays and weeknights. Weekdays on WSAV at noon. And, of course, weeknights, 7 p.m. on MyLC. And if you have a story idea for us or you'd like to send us a message, you can find us on Facebook, the Southern Scene, or you can always go to our website, WSAV.com. Just be sure to click on our Southern Scene page. We'd like to thank the Telfair Museum for letting us come out and cover the Art on Tap Zia at the beach. And remember, keep your eyes open because we will always have our southern scene cameras on the red carpet. And once again, keep your eyes open because you never know when you might be seen on the southern scene. See you next time.